Welcome back to another week of the AC 2022 Fragrant Series, and also welcome to probably one of my favorite racing circuits of all time, Suzuka Circuit. Uh, let me show you guys why I think this is one of my favorite circuits of all time. Going into T1, T1 is completely flat on these cars, but midway through it, you want to start breaking for this next corner. This corner, you want to get a really late apex, keep it in fourth, you're going to get hard on the power. This left hander is completely flat, but for this right hander, you want to downshift into fifth, and you do not want to touch that curve, or it will send you into a spin. This corner is also in fifth. For this corner, you do the entry on 5th, then you want to downshift into 4th midway. For this corner, you want to make sure you run out wide on the entry so that you can take it completely flat. If not, if you do not run wide enough, you will not be able to take it flat. First corner, a bit before the 50, downshift into 6th. Uh, you can maybe touch that inside here, but I didn't want to risk it. I know in GT3 cars you can, but in Formula cars I'm not really so sure. Now for the hairpin, uh, as soon as the curbing ends on the right hand side, I'll shift into 4th, into 1st, sorry, and then short shift into 2nd on the exit. And you just want to keep it flat until you hit spoon. Now going into the first spoon, as soon as you are alongside that side wall and right, downshift into fifth and power on the power. For this corner you want to downshift into third, get to a really late apex. And you want to pick up the throttle really early on the exit of the second spoon because a good exit speed there just snowballs down those down this whole street. And then the infamous sorry not the infamous, the famous 130R is completely flat in these cars. I'm going into the final chicane, after the 100 meter board, going a tiny bit, downshift into second for the first part of the chicane. And for the last part, you want to short shift into third, you also want to be really, really riding those curbs. And we're going to get into the DRS for the only DRS on this circuit, and that is what one lap of Suzuka circuit looks like.